I'm actually taking my time to do it one by one because I've done a video similar to this before and I still have people telling me, oh doctor, my cycle is this, what is my ovulation? So in this video, there will be no reason why I did not call your cycle length. So you have it here. In this video, you can pause and rewind and just keep checking it. But the most important thing is understand how it is calculated. Hi, in today's video, I'm going to be telling you how to calculate your safe days to avoid pregnancy and how to calculate your fertile window to know when to have sex to get pregnant. If you're new to my channel, I'm Dr. Amarachi Ijoma. I'm a fertility physician and this channel focuses on everything infertility and women's health. So if you want more content like this, subscribe to my channel and keep watching. When trying to get pregnant, it is important to know when you're ovulating because ovulation is when your ovary releases an egg for fertilization. Also, knowing your safe days is very important because these are the days that you are allowed to have sexual intercourse unprotected with very reduced chances of getting pregnant. Your fertile window is the number of days in your cycle when you are most likely to get pregnant. So for you to know your safe days and your fertile window, you must know your cycle length. Cycle length is not the number of days you see your period do. It's not three days or four days or five days. Actually, cycle length is the number of days in between your period, counting from the first day you saw your period to the day before you see your next period. Let me show you on the board. Every woman's cycle length is different. Some people have 21 day cycle, 22 days, 28 days, 31 days, even 35 days cycle. So your normal cycle length is between 21 days and 35 days so any cycle length that is less than 21 days or greater than 35 days is abnormal so there are a number of disorders that could cause your cycle length to be less than 21 days or greater than 35 days in that case you should see your doctor so how do you know your cycle length imagine the day you see your period the day you see period blood the very first day is on the 4th of july let's assume this is a july calendar so 4th of July will be your day one. 5th of July, day two. 6th of July, day three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. And then you see your period here. Your next period. So imagine that the very first day you see your period is July 4th, which is your day one. Then you saw it for like four days, okay? That's till July 7th. Then you don't see it again. The next time you see it is on the 29th of July. On the 29th of July. It simply means that your cycle length started from 4th of July and ended 28th of July. Okay? And then a new one started 29th of July. So you will count from 4th of July to 28th of July. That is a day before you saw your next period. Meaning that your cycle length is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five so that is your cycle length so it is the number of days from the very first day you see your period to the day before you see your next period so hope you're with your calendar so that you can be practicing this as i am explaining it so once you've calculated your cycle length and you know your cycle length. The next thing is to know when are you ovulating. So ideally, you should be ovulating 14 days before your next period. So like I said, this person has a 25-day cycle. So this particular woman has a 25-day cycle. And her next cycle is on July 29th. So her ovulation is 14 days before July 29th. So what you simply do is subtract 14 from 25. 
and then you will get your ovulation day. So what does this give us? 25 minus 14, 5 minus 4, 1 to minus 1. So for a 25 day cycle, ovulation is on day 11. So that will now mean that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. On the 14th of July is her ovulation. So because ovulation is not precise, you cannot simply say that because she subtracted 14 days from her cycle length, she must ovulate on day 11. Remember now, 25 days minus 14 is equal to 11. So ideally, she should ovulate on day 11, which is 14th of July. But ovulation is not precise. So this calculation is not extremely accurate. It just gives you an idea when you should ovulate. So what you will now do is, you will now say plus or minus 2. Meaning that a 25-day cycle can either ovulate on day 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So this is 11 plus 2 or minus 2. So she could either ovulate day 9, day 10, day 11, day 12, or day 13. So once you know that this is the period that her ovaries will release egg, then there's something important you should know. The sperm can live in the female body, in the female reproductive tract, for three to five days. Meaning that if you have unprotected sexual intercourse today, the sperm can be in your fallopian tubes for up to three to five days. Meaning that if you ovulate five days from now, you could still get pregnant. Meaning that that is your fertile window. So if a woman with a 25 day cycle can either ovulate on day nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, you take the earliest date, which is day nine, then add five to it plus five. Because if she has unprotected sex, five days before this day nine, she could still get pregnant. So it's her fertile window. So you just add five to it, then add all of these days, then that is her fertile window. So let's do that. So this is her day nine. So this is her day nine. So one, two, three, four, five. So her fertile window starts from here. 8th of July, that's her day five. Okay? And ends on her day 13 which is 16th of July. So this is our fertile window. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So if the woman has unprotected sexual intercourse within these days, day five, day six, day seven, day eight, day nine, day 10, day 11, day 12, or day 13, she could get pregnant. But if she has sexual intercourse, any day apart from these days, the chances of getting pregnant is very minimal because those days are said to be your own fertile period because there's no egg being released. So let me use another cycle length to further break it down. If you have a 28th day cycle, your ovulation will be 28 days minus 14 days, which is equal to 14 days. So it's not as if you must ovulate on day 14, but this is the most likely period for you to ovulate. So what you will now do is 14 plus or minus 2. So you could either be ovulating on day 12, day 13, day 14, day 15, or day 16. So what do you do? You take the smallest one, which is day 12. Add 5 days to it. Remember, it takes 5 days for the sperm to live in the woman's reproductive organs. And then this is your fertile window. So let's calculate it on the calendar. So of course, this is a July calendar. So imagine for a 28-day cycle woman, her day one is on the 2nd of July. Day two, day three, day four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. So this is a 28 day cycle, meaning that her next period is starting from the 30th of July. So now for us to find her fertile window on this calendar, remember this is day 12, which is the earliest time she can ovulate. And then you add five days to it. 
so this is day 12 this is day 12 13th of, Jan uh, of july is day 12 so what you do is one two three four five so her fatal window starts from 9th of july which is her day eight all the way to 17th of july which is her day 16. so this is for a 28 day cycle this is the fertile window every other day is said to be safe so i'm going to use a 30 day cycle for the next one so for a woman with 30 day cycle let's assume that she saw her period on the 1st of july meaning that on the 1st of july was her day one so this is a 30 day cycle so this is the two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one. So we'll subtract 14 days from a 30 day cycle. That will be 30 minus 14. That's equal to 16. So it is 16 plus or minus 2. So remember that the very first day you see your period is day 1. So 16 plus or minus 2 is 16, 15, 14, or 16. 17 18 so any of these days the woman's ovary might release egg any of these days the woman might ovulate so her fertile window will now be take the earliest date she can release egg and count five days before that day so that is one two three four five so her fertile window starts from day 10 and ends day 18. any other day that doesn't fall within her fertile window is her safe period as a woman, it's very important to know this. Also for men, it's also important to know this so you can help your partner to track her cycle. So next thing I'm going to do is to help each and every one of you watching this video to calculate your ovulation day and your fertile window. That is if you fall within the 21 to 35 day cycle. So for a 21 day cycle, 21 minus 14 is equal to seven. So for a woman with 21 day cycle she should be ovulating on day seven plus or minus two so she should ovulate here plus or minus two day five day six day eight or day nine so her fertile window will be from one two three four five so her fertile window will be from day one of her cycle to day nine of her cycle so for women that have shorter cycle length like 21 days 22 days 23 days even 25 days they can actually get pregnant while seeing their period so these are the women that can actually get pregnant when they are seeing their period because their fertile window still falls within their period so for a woman in 22 day cycle to be 22 minus 14 which will be equal to 8 plus or minus 2 Ovulation will be on day 8 plus or minus 2. That it could be on day 7, day 6, or on day 9 and day 10. So, um, fertile window will start from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. From day 2 to day 10. So, for 23 day cycle, 23 days, that will be 23 minus 14. That will be 9. 9 plus or minus 2. It will now be from, this is the earliest she can ovulate. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it will be from her day 3 to her day 11. So it's just the same technique we we'll apply for a 24 day cycle, a 25 day cycle. So this is for a 24 day cycle now. 24 minus 14 is going to give us 10. So that's day 10 plus or minus 2. For a 25 day cycle, it will be 25 minus 14, which is going to give us the 11 plus or minus 2. For 26 day cycle, it will be 26 minus 14, which will give us 12 plus or minus 2. For a 27 day cycle, 27 days, that's 27 minus 14, which will give us 13. 
plus or minus 2. For a 28-day cycle, that will be 28 days minus 14. That will give us 14 days plus or minus 2. For 29-day cycle, that will be 29 minus 14. That will give us 15 day 15 plus or minus 2. For a 30 day cycle, that would be 30 minus 14. That will give us day 16 plus or minus 2. For a 31 day cycle, that will be 31 minus 14. That will give us 17 plus or minus 2. For a 32-day cycle, that will be 32 minus 14. That will be 18 plus or minus 2. Same goes for 33-day cycle. I'm actually taking my time to do it one by one because I've done a video similar to this before and I still have people telling me, oh doctor, my cycle is this, what is my ovulation? So in this video, there will be no reason why I did not call your cycle length. So you will have it here. In this video, you can pause and rewind and just keep checking it. But the most important thing is understand how it is calculated. So for a 33-day cycle, that will be 33 minus 14 that will be 19 day 19 plus or minus 2 for a 34 day cycle that will be 34 minus 14 that will be 20 day 20 plus or minus 2 then for day 35 the last but not the least cycle length i'll be talking about today that will be 35 minus 14 that will give us 21 day 21 plus or minus two so there we have it that's how to calculate your ovulation it's quite easy don't you think so if you have any problem with this calculation that i have talked about today please drop a comment below drop your questions and let's discuss i hope you found today's video informative so if you want more content like this fertility women's health share with your friends subscribe to the channel and see you in my next video